Hey everyone, how you doing? So today is the moment of truth. Today is MOT day. Okay, so got to take the car for an MOT this morning. So hopefully if it passes, then I'm going to put the trim back in the car. So like I said, if you live in the UK, you know what the MOT test is like. So um, I've done everything that I can to get it through. So we just got to pull it through and see what happens. But um, yeah, let's go and take it now. Okay, so I've just bought the car back from the MRT station and guess what? The news is the car has passed. Yes, very happy with that. Right, now we're gonna put the trim back into the car that I took out last week, if you remember. Okay, so here's the trim from last week, if you can recall. So I'm gonna put that back in the car, but just before I do that, I'm going to do just a little bit of cleanup in the car right now. And I've also got um, this, this is a new screw kit to replace some of the screws that hold these bits in because they were never in the car when I bought them. So got this on eBay, cost me about 13 pounds. So I'm gonna use this to replace the missing screws. So let's go and do that right now. Okay, so today there's a couple of jobs I'm gonna do. So first of all, this bit here, gonna shine this up with my polishing wheel. All this black trim here, I'm going to treat with this here, with Ultimate Black. Um, gonna do the same around here as well. And just make it look better. And also around the pillar, I'm gonna polish it up. I'm gonna use some clay lube, some Chemical Guys clay lube, just to polish it up and, and, and give it that final clean. Got a couple of microfibers I'm going to use for that as well, so this is going to get very dirty by the end, but it should look a million times better in here and look, give it that showroom finish. So let's crack on and do that right now. Okay, right, so I'm now gonna use my little rotary drill to clean up this area here, this area here. So let's see how we get on. (laughs) 
Okay, let's start putting this trim back together. First thing, um, when I got this car, there was no original screws to hold the um, trim over here in. So I've got this kit that I showed you earlier. And it comes with these little claw <clears throat> nuts. And what you do is you get your Allen key, you place the um, tool, on one. you place the tool like this, the Allen key in, and then basically this cuts a new hole in there and then that then leaves some screws that you can then use to screw the original kit in the original um, kit so I've just done this side I've got some new screws for that plate as well so I'm going to put those in now first of all we'll put that in then we'll put this side trim and we'll see how that looks Okay, for the scuttle panel, I'm going to use some C4, which is pretty excellent stuff. It really does bring the black and it lasts a very long time. You only need a little touch. Quite expensive, but really good if you've got black trim and you want it to stay black and looking new for quite a while. So I'm going to put that on the scuttle panel because that's quite exposed, whereas this stuff here is all interior. So let's go and do that now. That is a finished result. Look at that. Looks brand new under here. Really good. Very pleased with that. Okay, so that's it for this week. These videos are, are becoming a little bit shorter and uninteresting. Sorry about that. Um, but as we get the car ready for sale, we want to make sure it looks good. So it's going to be on sale this week. Um, some time after passing the MRT which is great so look out for some pictures on Instagram I'll send some pictures when I get it up and you can have a look at it and come see if you're interested in buying it but until then we'll see you next week have a good week and um, yeah see you next Monday always, always.